booze. Oh my goodness. Here we go. It's day 21. It's day 21. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's been oh, a lot so far. But oh my goodness. Today we're going to be talking about an essential step in remaining productive. What is it? We're going to be reviewing our past week and cutting down on our biggest time wasters. We all have distractions and things that take up our time that, you know, that we don't need. But by identifying these things and eliminating these time wasters, we can take control of our time and be more productive. Look, in this video, we're going to be sharing tips and strategies of identifying those time wasters and taking action. So let's go. Here we go. Time wasters can be in many forms, such as distractions, procrastination. Now that's a big one. That's a big one for me. And unimportant tasks, like, you know, just doing stuff that you ain't got no business doing. Okay. By first identifying these time wasters, we can take the first steps in eliminating them. Okay. Now, <laughs> Let's focus on getting rid of these puppies, right? Another important aspect of cutting down on these time wasters is to prioritize your tasks. That means focusing on the most important things, the most urgent stuff, the stuff that you got to do rather, you know, rather than, you know, getting bogged down on lesser, less important things, unnecessary tasks. These are, you know, things we only had no business doing. Okay. Let's just try to stay focused. So... Here are some of those strategies. For example, if you're spending too much time on social media, you know who you are. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. I could tell you a story right now. Cause like every time I pick up the phone and I happen to scroll, I see some notification. It's a rabbit hole. It's a trigger for me. So social media, if you know, you got some important to do. You might want to stay off of it, but you can block your time and do what you need to do. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you can limit that by blocking, blocking certain websites during work hours. You could, you could call the girl that's on your phone. If you have an iPhone, her name begin with an S and I ain't going to say it because you know, she knows it. she's going to start talking to me, but you know, you can do things like that. Okay. All right. So look, <laughs> That's just one example, but overall, regularly reviewing your past week and cutting back on those things that were the biggest time wasters for you is crucial to remaining productive. So by identifying those things and eliminating those distractions and focusing on the stuff that you're supposed to be doing in the first place, hey, it could make you more productive, right? So what we do it, <laughs> what we do it. Of course, that's what we do it. This is our homework. We're going to cut down on those time wasters, right? We're going to look back, reflect on what we did this past week, and then see them time wasters and cut them out. Okay. So, oh my goodness. I know we are like at the three quarter mark of this challenge and i'm super excited if you're just meeting us welcome 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 come on in you know you just gotta take your shoes off at the door but if you want to go ahead and get this guide go ahead and go to lbcbranding.link forward slash productivity so that you can get your guide and you can get all caught up you can binge watch this because you know i made them short snappy quick so that you can get right to what you need right so go ahead grab the guide and uh, yeah, you know, participate, do all the things. The other thing that I would love for you to do is to go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification because I don't want you to miss a thing. So if you do that for me, that will be amazing. Amazing. Oh my goodness. So tomorrow is day 22. Day 22. Oh my goodness. So much good stuff coming. I cannot wait to share this with you. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.